Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I had an absolute crack and fest over the weekend. I pulled a load of shards. I actually pulled about 900 ancient shards. Most I've done on my account. Probably ever. Probably ever. I didn't end up getting the champion I was after, which is Harima. Would you believe it? I pulled 15 legendary champions over the weekend and didn't hit the times 10. My video, Kraken like wave two is actually going to come out soon and you can see the second half of of kind of my pulls and stuff but all that aside i did pull one champion that i've been after for a long time teodor the savant and we're going to be doing in this video a bit of a showcase of this guy absolutely turbocharging my dungeons yeah so i'm excited for that i'm going to be streaming on youtube later tonight by the way because something else happened within this shard pool I actually got a plus four, my second plus four champion on the account. I got a plus four Elder Skarg. So tonight on stream, it's going to be on YouTube at 8 p.m. UK. Come and join me for that. I'm going to be building out my first ever three to one ratio clan boss team using this fella as my damage. And I'm pretty damn excited for that. So yeah, come and join us for that. But this video is going to be all about getting Teodor in the mix, in my dungeon teams, and showing his power. Let's do it. So honestly, it's kind of like, where do you start? When you, pick, when you pick up someone like a Teodor, and you've already got some nice tools on the account. I've already got Calvalax. I actually got Calvalax 2 over the weekend as well. I've already got uh, champions like Elinariel, Xavier. Yeah, big poison exploders, big poison champions. And what the team optimizer does so if you're on the uh, hell hades optimizer you can use this whenever you're using a mac or a pc it's a free tool uh, but we do welcome people that go to uncommon membership because it supports the dev team to continue to build this tool out uh, and and to do the new features that we're adding but basically what you can do here you can come into team optimizer and for anything you want in the game you can hit suggest team it will look at champions that you own and comps that other people that use the optimizer use and it will show you some cool stuff. So if I flick through the different dungeon 25s here, so I suggest a team for finite 25, I'm looking for the fastest. Uh, I want at least a 99% win rate. I want at least a few battles that have been run. Apply filter. And I can see, actually I pulled a second holstering as well. You can see holstering's in here for some crazy ass finite teams. This is, uh, what team am I using right now, actually? I think I'm using this team here right now. So Teodor doesn't really pop up for finite stuff. Although, I, honestly, I did see him. Maybe it was, maybe it's just a bit slow. I did see him in a Poison Exploder comp for finite. But we're going to leave finite for today. We're going to do my dragon team. Let's see what it suggests for dragon here. I'll put the same type of blurb in. Fastest. a few battles Jing Wan <laughs> Jing Wan in one of the fastest teams 32 seconds what the hell is that this is a team that I saw the other day so double Calvalax Teodor Elinariel and Xavier so no reset champion here it's all crazy stuff and you can see when you go into view details you can see the breakdown so both Calvalaxes are not even built by the looks of it 99 speed they're literally just in there to apply their poisons. A, a very slow Xavier, a very slow Elinariel, and honestly, a really slow Teodor as well. You're talking absolute slow ass champions. Let's have a look at the full builds here. So the Cavalaxes, yeah, they're not really built, although they do have some crit rate and crit damage. So I guess they do actually do a hit at some point. Um, <laughs> so weird. Xavier is built as a damage machine. Elinariel not built, just built basically to, to rip off poisons. And then we've got a, a regen plus immortal Teodor with triple refresh. So I don't know if that's part of doing this time, but it is, it's had a lot of runs. So it's not like it's a, a one-off win. And the Teodor build, again, it's not even got like full masteries here. So this is something I can absolutely do. And it looks like, you know, looking down these, these groups here, lots of people now are mimicking basically the same thing. That's interesting. So that's going to be a dragon team we can look at. And I'm also looking for something for Ice Golem because I don't have a, 
the most consistent ice golem team in the world. Interestingly, the fastest is straight up just Teodor, probably with food. So if there's food champions, the, the optimizer won't show it here. But that was that's what that means. He's running alongside four food champions. Make sure we've got a good amount of battles. Again, we've got this same team. Is it running the same type of speeds? Yeah. Okay, cool. So it looks like I can build the same team out to do both Ice Golem super quick and Dragon super quick. And it's a similar, although this guy, this one's running in a reflex set. Let's see. If that's the same for others. No, this one looks like the same build we've just seen. So I'm going to try and build out this team first uh, and then see where we go. Okay, so while the optimizer is a working, and basically what it's doing here, I've pumped in the stats and the requirements for every champion, and it's trying to find builds for me uh, based on my gear. Basically, I keep a load of champions locked, so it's not going to steal gear from champions that I'm already using, but it's going to find gear from what I've got left to make this happen. But yeah, why is Teodor such a sought-after champion? Why is he basically the best dungeon runner in the game? Let's go for his kit. Got an AoE decrease speed A1, which is cool. So if you've got someone who's going to be trying to take on waves of enemies on his own and you need to get back around to your big skills, decreasing the enemy speed is going to be huge. This dude also, by the way, just in other content as well, Spider, Hydra, loads of areas of the game, Doom Tower. He's absolutely bonkers because his kit is just so good. But yeah, AoE decrease speed. His damage is based on defense, which is quite interesting. So... Uh, you don't have to build kind of like attacking based stats on him. You can actually build him tanky, albeit most of his damage comes from his kit, not his hits. His A2 here, when booked out, 100% chance of placing two poisons everywhere and poison sensitivity, which means poisons tick for more. Uh, also places increased speed on his team. Yeah, and then his A3 has got increases the duration of a poison and a burn, then pops it for one tick of damage. So you've basically got the tick of damage is going off. Then the enemies take their turn, tick of damage going off. And it's absolutely insane. Places weaken for two turns on enemies, not under poison or burn instead. So it's got an alternative if you're not running a poison team. Honestly, his kit's so damn good. This is on a three turn. And he's got here, this champion's resistance is increased by five for each poison debuff on the enemy team. So against waves of enemies, we where you've got, say, Calvalax in the team, or two Calvalax, all of a sudden you've got all of these poisons out there. His resistance is just going through the roof, which means that his builds are easier to do as well. You've also got here, increased accuracy in all battles. Again, makes his build easier to do. So yeah, Teodor is just absolutely bonkers for any dungeon content. Okay, the builds are done. I'm pretty excited by this. So here we go. Let's take a look. Teodor is set up. As I say, in Immortal and Regen Gear, we've got 79k health, 3.6k defense. I've gone higher speed, so I'm going to use them in some other stuff as well, 252. And then we've got enough accuracy to do stuff, enough resistance to not ever be resisted if we need it. I don't think we will. Uh, we've got Elinariel in Savage Gear, 137 speed, totally slow, got some damage if she hits. And uh, she's actually got Brimstone, but I don't think she's going to need it. We've got herself Xavier. By the way, I don't know who did this original comp, so I need to call out. It's probably one of like the speedrunners, and there's a whole bunch of them in the game, but they, they do amazing content, honestly, albeit they don't do it on a channel. So I don't know exactly who built this comp, comp out initially. Apologies for that, but it is some cool work. We've got Cruel and Savage here on our Xavier. 128 speed. Plus loads of damage. And then we've got double Calvalax. Basically, you need to land their abilities and then land a nuke when we get to the bosses. High attack, high crit damage, enough accuracy to land poisons. My other one is not even max, doesn't matter. In fact, they could be literally like level one stuff, but he's basically in the same build or as good a, a build as I can do at his level. He's in lethal gear here, 100% crit rate with some damage. And I guess let's see these runs in action. We'll start with the Ice Golem. I'll show you the setup I've done here. So, obviously, look, I'm not expecting tons of people to copy this. It's taken me three and a half to four years of playing to get to this type of level of champion team. But if you've got the champs and you can do it, fantastic. I guess there are, there are subs, I guess, in terms of being able to do it. But you're better off just grabbing the optimizer and finding a team for you if you cannot do it. Xavier, don't do the catalyst on round one. Do it on round two. 
because you're going to pop poisons. Round three, don't do it. Both Calvalaxes set up the same. Do whatever you like round one and two. You shouldn't get a go. Round three, come in with your enemy max HP skill. And then if you have another go, use your A2. Same with the other Calvalax. Elinariel, basically you're going to combust wave one. Uh, sorry. Elinariel shouldn't get a turn wave one, I think. Going to combust wave two. And then uh, just open with your A1 on wave three. And then Teodor, who's the big boy in this team, basically. Pop poisons wave one. Don't do anything wave two. Pop poisons wave three. And away we go. I think this is up there as one of the best teams in the game. I don't know. Perhaps comment below if people have seen better than this. Um, I'm wondering actually on the best teams thing that I did, if this is literally the team that won it. There you go. Crash wave one. Crash wave two. Poisons everywhere on wave three. Pop some poisons. Give him a smack. Give him a smack. Let him kill us. And then we're just going to poison this dude to death. 26 seconds later, the Ice Golem's done. And the cool thing here is, it's a 100% team. The not cool thing is, new hard mode dungeons come out in like a week. <laughs> so this has happened for me a week after. But same squad, same setup. Dragon 25. Oh, we didn't quite kill the first wave. Maybe I got poor RNG there on the, um, on the Calvalaxes landing their poison. I'll have to check that back. Or perhaps rerun it. Because I've done this once before and it worked absolutely like a dream on that first wave. Here we go. Popping poisons. Enemy max HP. More poisons going in. What are you going to do, Dragon? Probably not a lot. Apart from being dead. More poison poppage. And ah, it's actually 40 seconds. This is as slow as I've seen it do it before. But still, oh, it's still damn good. Let's run that one again. Come on. All the poisons are out there. Pop them. Dead. That's better. All the poisons are out there. We are getting a couple of resists. That's just a 3% chance to resist. Happened again, actually. Quite annoying. Pop some poison. Enemy max HP double hits. Get the smacks away. And see you later, Dragon. There you go. That's two dungeon teams sorted uh, with one squad, which is pretty damn cool. And I guess the last thing I'm going to do is rebuild my spider team to include him as well. So we do the same thing that I've done on the other dungeons here in the Optimizer. We just say, give me your fastest team. This is interesting. So it looks like we've got Teodor and Ignatius with an 11 second farm. Likelihood is, this is, it's only a one run fight. So there's no refresh accessories. I don't know if that's even viable, honestly. I think that might, that might be buggy. Um, let me do that. Let's see what else there is. I want to see something that's had a number of runs and a 100% success rate. And it looks like we're going to be going. So my team right now is... This squad, but without Teodor. So I'm going to try and build this one in. Hopefully the Teodor is basically as I've built him right now. And I can just sub him straight in. The idea here is Tumisia burns. And is faster than uh, Teodor. Tumisia burns and stuns. Teodor pops the burn. Coldheart smacks a smack. Kaimar resets it all. And then they do it again. 13 second uh, farm. Let's see what we can do. Right then, we've left Teodor in the same build, so nothing's going to change there. My Tumisia, I've just honestly just tweaked some speeds around. So I've made my Tumisia quicker, 254 speed now, and enough accuracy to land the burn. The build I've left is still just viable for Hydra. That's why there's still some damage in the build. But actually, Tumisia will not use the big nuke attack. Uh, we've got uh, Kaimar now just quick enough. So I built my third Kaimar out. Um, and I figured I can just use him some other stuff. But he's the slowest of this team at 248. And then I've got myself a Cold Heart at turbo speed now. 262 speed to do the drop turn meter. Really, Cold Heart's mainly in there for the turn meter drop rather than damage. But you will get a nice little nuke out of your Cold Heart as well. So we've got here um, Teodor, 
just use your your ignite burns as often as you can uh burn when you can please to missia cold heart use your heart seeker and timer reset let's go again thank you very much and this should be a very quick spider farm we should go heart seeker heart seeker enables other spiderlings to drop now we've got full complement of spiderlings burnout plus stun nuke heart seeker burnout plus stun nuke have a rest mr spider oh we didn't quite get the kill i thought it was absolutely like kill first shot i'm gonna try that one more time get in there oh my lord how are we not killing the spider how are you alive spider why are you still going is it bugged what is going on why are we not getting this over the line what the hell was that uh <laughs> that was 33 seconds i'm sure it's meant to just be straight up a 14 second farm if not what i can do is just bring another heart seeker in to the mix so maybe i don't quite do enough damage in my set of this build did spiderlings die no so damn close look at that so damn close but i'm not quite doing enough damage must be something to do with my build so what we're going to do is just edit this out and drop in a second nuke here a slower one we're going to drop in a second nuke try this i don't think i need to do any rebuilds i think the second nuke should just do the job Heart seeker. Burn. Stun. Pop. Reset. Heart seeker. Heart seeker. Burn. Stun. Nuke. <laughs> Just about. 13 seconds. Anyway, there you go. They're going to run consistently. It's pretty damn close. Anyway, Teodor, absolutely awesome champion to get on my main account. As I said, it's like a game changer for me. Don't forget, come and join me later on in the stream. Should be a laugh trying to build out a three for one clan boss team. We go three times for every time the clan boss takes a turn. Pretty nutty. I've been Hell Hades. I'll see you later.